Today, I am speaking to the many seasoned seniors in the Church who could serve as missionaries. The Lord needs you. We need you in New York and Chicago, Australia and Africa, Thailand and Mexico, and everywhere in between. President Nelson has encouraged couples to get on their knees and ask Heavenly Father if the time is right for them to serve a mission. Of all the qualifications, he said, a desire to serve may be the most important. What are you doing at this stage of your life? There are so many ways senior missionaries can do what no one else can. You are a remarkable force for good, seasoned in the church and poised to encourage and rescue God's children. My hometown is a, I call it a collaborative effort between West Valley City and uh, local churches uh, and other groups, basically to better the lives of the people in the West Valley area, West Valley City area. And um, it kind of falls into three areas of, of service. Uh, I think the first area would be uh, in the neighborhood and providing neighborhood services and and uh, the second area would be on days of service. Uh, we'll maybe come back and talk about each of those areas. And then the uh, third area is in, in learning in the community resource center. Some, some of us are retired, some of us are not. And, you know, everybody uh, is just able to put in whatever time they can do. And it's greatly appreciated. We have chosen to attend every Sunday. We, we attend the meetings out there. For us, that has gotten us to know, starting with the bishop, and then we get to know the ward members. Um, there's a friendship there. Um, like they say, come as you are, but don't intend on staying as you are, because we are better people from being around them. What I like of my hometown is that opportunity to serve and love people. Don't you feel that way? Oh yeah, you really get to love the people. Yeah, we work in the Spanish world for my benefit, of course. I'm from Chile and then I can speak the language and communicate with the people. But my husband, Terry, mm -hmm. he was a sweetheart because even when he didn't speak the language, he can give a hug or he can just shake hands, you know, and just just show with, with his way that He's caring about these people, they love them. An interesting thing, I'd never done a mission. Right when I was young, Grady was a great missionary from Chile, and I'd never served a mission. So this was new ground for me. And I thought, it is, it's wonderful, really. Because I thought, I always thought I should have gone on a mission. But there's your chance. If you've never gone on one like I didn't, now's your chance. Like Andy and I said, we both work. and. When they asked us to do this, we thought, literally, we, we went home and we thought, well, my goodness, how would with this, how do we serve a mission? We still had a son on a mission and, and how do we work and do this? And it's amazing that when you do something for your Heavenly Father, it just, your efforts multiply and we can't imagine it not being a part of our lives. Now, and it works great. I don't miss if a baby's being born, a grandchild, um, we can work. It, it all just somehow comes together. Serving our fellow men is, is one of the greatest commandments and, and, it, and to lose yourself doing that, you, you just forget any other problems that you have when you're serving other people. No growth and comfort zone is there. As an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to serve as a missionary in the gathering of Israel and perhaps even serve again. We need you. We need you. We are grateful to you seniors for the lives you have led and the examples you have been in your homes, wards and stakes. I now invite you to take your know-how coupled with your time-honored testimonies and go on a mission.